Hello there, my name is Dr. Abdul Adamu from Data Analytica. In this video, I want to show us how to write the scope of the study in our dissertation or thesis. Items we will cover in this video are we introduce the topic, we show the components of the scope of study, we give an example and we conclude. The scope of the study by definition refers to the boundaries within which your research project will be performed. It delineates what will and will not be covered in your project and it provides focus for your research work and your time. It ensures that you achieve your goals and outcome. It is needed for all types of research. Whatever types of research that you are doing, the scope is needed to show what the research is covering and what it is not covering. Whether your research is quantitative, qualitative, or mixed research. And it defines all aspects that will be considered in the research and the aspect that will not be considered also will be stated in the scope of study. It is considered and agreed upon in the early stages of the research. It is not after the research is concluded because it will guide most of the things that you will be doing in your research, data collection, and where you are going to collect the data from the population, sample, and all of them. The scope of the study is important because it helps to ensure that the research is feasible that is, the research is achievable within the time frame and resources available to the researcher. It also ensures that the research is reliable, that is, relevant and reliable data are collected for the research, and also ensure that it is valid, that is, the assumption that you made in your research are supported by empirical evidence. And it Ensure that the research also can be reproducible by providing clear and concise scope of the study. Other researchers can replicate the study and obtain similar results which you have obtained. It provides focus. It focuses the work of your study down to what is practically achievable and within a given time frame. That is about feasibility and it provides a clear outcome and specific data point to be collected while other have been excluded. The components, some of the things that should be in the scope of the study are first, you have to state the general purpose of the study, that is the objective of the study. Also, the time frame for the study, that is the period over which the research will be conducted also should be specifically stated. You should also state the boundaries of the research including what aspect you are not going to cover. The variables of your study also should be explicitly stated, both the dependent and the independent variables. The population of the study should be stated. There may be some disagreement as to whether you state the population in the scope of the study or not, but by stating your sample of population, it is also a scope issue. Also, the extent of the content that will be covered in the research project should be stated so that your readers, other researchers, should know the aspect you have covered and those that you have not covered. All the factors and variables that you are not going to include also should be stated. That is, that is the delimitation of the study. It is also expedient. You state your theoretical framework, which are some set of theories and concepts that the researcher will use to guide their research. There may be contradiction also as whether the theoretical framework should be stated, but theories that you are adopting for your research, stating them in the scope of study is not out of place. Here I give an example from our topic, which we have been working on in this research series. If you have not watched it, go to our YouTube channel at Data Analytica. So you go to the playlist Research Methods, View 
full list. These are some of the contents we have provided. We have provided content on what is research, how to generate research topic, research questions, objectives, and hypotheses. There are other contents there too that you can enjoy, useful productivity content. I'll put the link right under this video. So the scope of the study on the impact of online customer reviews on the purchase decision of computer brands in Nigeria stated thus, the general purpose of the study is to investigate the impact of online customer reviews on the purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria. The study will be conducted with a sample of 100 computer buyers in Nigeria over a period of six months in 2023. The variable to be examined in the study will be the quantity, quality and credibility, valence and source of online customer reviews and purchase decision. The research will be guided by the theory of social influence, which suggests that people are more likely to be influenced by the opinion of others, especially when they are considering making a purchase. This study will not cover the impact of offline customer reviews on the purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria. It will not also include the impact of other marketing factors such as advertising and sales promotion on the postage decisions of Nigeria consum consumers. This study will be funded by a grant from Ted Fund. So this is an example of a scope of study. I provided an explanation here by showing some of those compon components I explained. For the general purpose, you can see I stated it to investigate the impact of customer reviews for the population, I said, we are going to use sample of 100 computer buyers for the duration i say is within a period of six months in 2023 for the variable i stated quantity quality balance source of the review for theoretical framework i stated it as the social influence theory for the boundaries i said it will not cover offline customer review it will only cover online customer review and for the variable not covered and the delimitation, I said it will not be on the impact of other factors because these other factors affect purchase decision also. And for the resources, I stated the person that provided the resources from the, for the study. In conclusion, it is important to define our scope of study as it enables the researcher to focus their research with the achievable parameters and the main components that must be in the scope of the study are the objectives of the study we provide the geographical scope the time scope and the variable scope these are some of the references where i got some of those ideas from and on this note i want to thank you for listening if you enjoy this presentation i implore you to kindly subscribe to our youtube channel at data analytica if you have any comment put it on at the comment section under this video and if you have any question kindly also state your question um, if you have a better way of doing the scope of the study you can put it down at the comment section